Today, we are taking a closer look at the race for New York's District 11. Now, this is a rematch between Democrat Max Rose, Republican and incumbent Nicole Maliotakis. The district covers Staten Island, parts of southern Brooklyn. Now, Maliotakis currently leads the race, according to a Spectrum News poll, but Rose hopes to defeat her this time around, which would be a big win for Democrats come the midterm race. And Max Rose joining me in person for today's edition of Picks on Politics. Good to see you, Mr. Rose, in person. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to see you, too. So you just saw the numbers, right? So let's start off with the latest poll from Spectrum News, right? It has your opponent, Nicole Maliotakis, in the lead right now in what it could be defined as a conservative district. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to change the needle? So first of all, the polls don't matter. They're, they're wrong far more often than they're right. Now, I'm not focused on them. Okay. What I'm focused on each and every day is fighting against extremism. Mm -hmm. You know, many of the positions that my extremist uh, opponent have taken from abortion, you know, the, the fact that she has voted to allow states to execute abortion bans throughout the nation. She uh, has voted against oil companies. Uh, uh, you know, she's voted to allow oil companies to price gouge mm -hmm. at the pump, killing us at the pump each and every day. Uh, she's voted to against a ban on assault weapons. She's voted against universal background checks. Is this type of extremist policies here that we collectively, because that's what I hear most often when I'm on the street. Okay. People are so tired of extremism. They want us to govern sensibly. Common sense doesn't appear to be common in our politics these days. They want to see us get something done in a real big, bold way. So I want to talk about some of those issues in just a second, but this district is heavily known to vote Republican. So how do you plan to get Democrats out? That's important, to get Democrats out to the polls. How do you plan to do that? Well, first of all, this district is not a conservative district. It's not a liberal district. Mm -hmm. What this district is, down to its core, is a district filled with people who have dedicated their lives to service. Mm -hmm. that believe in the flag, that believe in this country, believe in what this country has done, and most especially what this country can do. And so in that sense, that's what our campaign is all about. I've lived a life of service. So okay. let's, let, let me talk to you about the issues right here, abortion and women's rights. You mentioned them off the top about your opponent, right? Uh, it's a big motivator. Your website describes you as pro-choice wanting to codify Roe v. Wade. But do you support any limitations, any, any restrictions when it comes to abortion rights? So th this is exactly the conversation that extremist Republicans would like for us to be having so they could distract the American people and common sense New Yorkers away from the fact that they want to, that they're allowing states to ban abortions throughout the nation. But if you look at New York's law, as well as the federal law that I um, supported, all of them have written into it uh, the, these strictures that we're talking about. They, uh, the only way in which an abortion is allowed post the viability period in and around 24 weeks is when it comes to the health, well-being, life of the mother, the viability of the child. But that at its core is a decision to be made between the woman and her doctor. I do not believe that government should be getting in to a doctor's office. But let me just close out by saying this. I take this issue seriously, and I know uh, you, know, you, you do as well. Two, two and a half years ago, my wife and I uh, adopted mm -hmm. a baby boy. It's the greatest blessing of uh, our lives. Yeah. It's not lost on me that my son's birth mother was at a fork in the road and made a decision, and the decision that she made resulted in us having our, our wonderful mm -hmm. son. But that was a decision for her to make, not the government, not any man. Right. And, and the reason I'm asking about the limitations of restrictions is because it, it is discussed on both sides of the aisle. And your opponent says she does actually support the limits. So do you do support re limits or restrictions, just to be very clear? What, what I've said to you over and over again is the laws that I support, the laws that I believe are in New York, the federal, they all have okay. limitations. There's no one that is saying otherwise, this is an attempt by the Republican Party, the extremist, mm -hmm. to distract from us. But let's, let, let's look at Nicole for a second, though. She can say whatever she wants. Look at her votes. One, she voted against codifying Roe. Yeah. Two, when she was given the opportunity even to protect women who are fleeing abortion ban states from prosecution. And these are horrible stories that are coming yeah. out. Women being denied chemotherapy, women being forced to carry dead fetuses, women being forced to carry the child from a, a, a rape incident. 
she believes they they should be prosecuted. I, it's I, horrible. We're, we're tight on time here, and I want to move on to another big issue right here facing New York City, and that is the issue of crime. It's a big one for voters, right? So where do you see the big issue when it comes to crime in New York City, and how would you as a congressman make a sure. difference? So I think there's there's three things, right? One is we, we have got to vociferously be behind funding for law enforcement, Get, getting them not just the salaries that are commensurate with mm -hmm. their sacrifice, also the resources. The second is, is we have got to roll back this disastrous bail law. Um, it went too far, too fast, particularly in and around the absence of judicial discretion, mm -hmm. which is leading to this culture of criminality and recidivism on the streets of New York for both small crimes as well as large crimes, and it's affecting our economic growth and general um, well-being. But the third is the issue of the illegal weapons streaming into our city. And this is a critical area where the federal government has got to take action. We need universal background checks in this, in this country. We need to ban assault weapons. Mm -hmm. Two issues, may I add, where my opponent has voted on the side of extremists. She is totally fine with criminals, terrorists being able to buy weapons legally mm -hmm. in many other states without a background check completely fine with assault weapons being sold. I carried an assault weapon in combat in mm -hmm. Afghanistan. I understand what this weapon is capable of. It has no place on our streets. Okay, we got to leave it there. We're simply out of time. There's just so much to talk about, but we're out right. of time. It is a tight, tight, tight schedule that we are on. Max Rose, thank you for being I here. Okay? You for we'll have you back again. throughout the, Thanks. before the election day. And we uh, we also, by the way, hope to have Nicole Malliotakis with us before election day as well. The invitation has been extended.